Alright, what's up you guys? So I just want to do a, a little interesting video, kind of a vlog on why I got started bodybuilding and what, you know, what motivated me to start lifting weights and what, what was my inspiration throughout this whole, you know, eight, nine year journey that I've been on, uh, in pursuit of, uh, bodybuilding naturally. So, uh, to start off the video, I got started when I was about 12 years old. Um, as a kid in middle school and elementary school, you know, I was kind of fat. I was really unathletic. I've never played any sports um, in my entire life up until that point. And um, I just really needed to turn my uh, turn myself around, turn my life around, and get some self-esteem. So my dad, uh, who was a bodybuilder when he was younger, and he was a little bit successful of a bodybuilder, uh, he got me in the gym at the rec center. So I started working out there every single day. And what I would do was uh, my original routine was I would train every single body part every single day. So a full body routine every single day, every day of the week. Legit seven days a week I'll be in the rec center. And throughout that process, I went from, I was I was growing, I was going through puberty, and I was going through a lot of changes. And uh, when I started, I was probably like 5'5". Five, five. I was really short when I started and when I was fat. So when I was fat, I was like real short, probably 5'5 five, five or less. I'm at 160 pounds, which is fat for that age and that height. And by the time I was done with my freshman year of high school, I was about 5'9", five, 5'10", five, um, 128 pounds. So I got really skinny. What Doing these workouts and these intense workouts, um, going from never working out before to doing full body workouts every single day, I lost a lot of weight. I was burning calories more than I was building muscle. So I got down to about 129 pounds. You know, I joined the wrestling team. I wrestled my sophomore year. I didn't do very well. I quit the wrestling team, and I focused on working out and building muscle. So every year, I would get smarter and smarter about working out, and I'd put on about 10 to 15 pounds every year. Um, by the end of my sophomore year, I believe I was about 160 pounds. By the end of my junior year, I was about a buck 80. And by the end of my senior year, I was a buck 95. And what how I how I did this was, I was at the rec center till about my sophomore year, halfway through. In my sophomore year, um, I took a strength and conditioning class. Now, my dad had already taught me, you know, the basics of working out and the basics of lifting weights and the basics of all this stuff. Um, but the strength and conditioning class taught me a whole lot of new exercises, taught me about cardio, you know, taught me about muscle groups, and it taught me more. So I took this this new education in working out. And I applied it. I went to a better gym, a bigger gym. Most of you know, uh, World's Gym, Gold's Gym. I went to gyms like that, better and bigger than the rec center. I needed heavier weights, and I needed to move up. Um, so that's what I did. I went to a better gym. I started working out, lifting heavy, applying these principles and applying this knowledge that I had learned through these classes and through my dad. And I started. It started working for me. I, Albeit, it was probably uh, also in addition to the fact that I had never lifted before and I was making my quote-unquote noob gains. But I was gaining about 10 to 15 pounds of muscle every single year until I got up to about a buck 95. Now, my senior year in high school, a buck 95, granted, my body fat was pretty high. It was probably about 20%, 18 to 20%. And um, as the years went on, freshman year in college... I stayed about that same weight until the second semester of my freshman year where I decided to do a cut. Now, I was fucking retarded when I did this cut. Uh, what I did was I cut my carbs down to like fucking 50 carbs a day and my calories down to 1,000 calories a day. And I did this for like two months. I got down to like 160 pounds. I lost a lot of muscle, lost a lot of weight. And it took me two years to realize that I was fucking retarded. And over the past two years... I've been slowly putting my muscle back on, slowly training correctly. I've gone off all supplement use because I used to use supplements like crazy. My and it, it, Supplements are just bad, but that's another video. And I finally got back up to uh, the weight that I was at my senior year, which was 195 pounds. And I went past that. Over the summer, this past summer, I got up to about 215. Um, then I started cutting again. So now I'm cutting, I'm cutting, I'm cutting. Right now I'm down to about a buck ninety at twelve percent body fat. So that's a lot of improvement. That's about ten percentage uh, of body fat that I've changed between these years. Um, so I'm about the same weight that I was senior year, but a lower body fat and a higher muscle mass. So I'm learning how to train smarter, how to train better, 
And initially, my motivation was uh, my dad. And as, as years went on, uh, in the early years, I watched the WWE, and that was a source of motivation for me. And I can remember watching guys like Batista, you know, Kane, The Undertaker, and admiring their physiques. And uh, I think that's how I got started, actually, was in a Flex magazine with, like, John Cena, or one of those big wrestlers on the cover. Um, I started reading that Flex magazine, and eventually my dad got me a subscription. I started reading Flex. I started doing the workout programs that were in Flex, although... At the time, I didn't realize that you know those workout programs were more for like serious bodybuilders and not necessarily the guy starting out. So eventually, I worked my way up. You know, I figured things out for myself. I got bigger, I got stronger, and I got to where I am today. And I think I've achieved a decent physique um, through through all these years of working hard and working out and figuring out what kind of training works for me. And for me, I see the best results training heavy. Now I know that sounds generic. I know a lot of people say that. But when I train heavy and I cut my reps down and I pump up the weight, that's when I see the most muscle gain and the most, just the most changes and development in my body is when I push that intensity and I push that heavy weight. And those are the best results for me. But right now I'm cutting again, guys, and I'm trying to get down to 180. Like I said, right now I'm about 190 at 12% body fat. When I get down to 180, I'll probably be under 10% body fat, and I'll probably be looking pretty good by 180. Um, so like I said, that's how I got started, guys. You know, my dad just being kind of fat, having low self-esteem. You know, watching the WWE, reading Flex Magazine. I started going to the Arnold Classic my sophomore year in high school. That really got me into uh, bodybuilders um, and bodybuilding and got me just mesmerized by the size of these guys. And it made me want to achieve something similar until I started getting more knowledgeable and more educated and realized that those type of physiques really can't be achieved without taking steroids. So I've done everything that I've done naturally, and I've done everything that I can do naturally. I don't take any supplements, so I can I can I can feel safe in calling myself natural. I don't take creatine, I don't take protein, I don't take pre-workout, I don't take any supplementation. Um, I did take protein for a while recently, but I stopped taking that. I haven't taken pre-workout in almost seven months now. Um, I haven't taken creatine in over a year. So I'm, I'm trying to clean my body and cleanse my body and purge my body of all these chemicals that we're putting into them by taking these supplements that are really useless. But like I said, that's another video. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, this video about how I got started bodybuilding. I hope you guys learned a little something about myself, learned a little something about my journey. And uh, I hope you guys liked the video and liked the channel.